Hi, welcome to Read Alongs. John Steinbeck, great American author, with his novel Travels with Charlie, Chapter 1. When I was very young, and the urge to be someplace else was on me, I was assured by mature people that maturity would cure this itch. When years described me as mature, the remedy prescribed was middle age. In middle age, I was assured that greater age would calm my fever, and now that I'm 58, perhaps senility will do the job. Nothing has worked. Four hoarse blasts of a ship's whistle still raise the hair on my neck and set my feet to tapping. The sound of a jet, an engine warming up, even the clopping of shot hooves on pavement brings on the Asian shudder, the dry mouth and vacant eye, the hot palms and the churn of stomach high up under the rib cage. In other words, I don't improve. In further words, once a bum, always a bum. I fear the disease is incurable. I set this matter down, not to instruct others, others but to inform myself. When the virus of restlessness begins to take possession of a wayward man, and the road away from here seems broad and straight and sweet, the victim must first find in himself a good and sufficient reason for going. This, to the practical bum, is not difficult. He has a built-in garden of reasons to choose from. Next, he must plan a strip in time and space, choose a direction and a destination. And last, he must implement the journey. How to go, what to take, how long to stay. This part of the process is invariable and immortal. I set it down only so that newcomers to Bumdom, like teenagers in New Hatch Sin, will not think they invented it. Once a journey is designed, equipped and put in process, a new factor enters and takes over. A trip, a safari, an exploration, is an entity different from all other journeys. It has personality, temperament, individuality, uniqueness. A journey is a person in itself. No two are alike. And all plans, safeguards, policing and coercion is fruitless. We find after years of struggle that we do not take a trip. A trip takes us. Tour masters, schedules, reservations, brass bound and the inevitable dash themselves to wreckage on the personality of the trip. Once when this is recognized, one can the blown in the glass bum relax. Sorry. Only when this is re recognized, only when this is recognized, can the blown in the glass bum relax and go along with it. Only then do the frustrations fall away. In isn't this a journey is like marriage. The certain way to be wrong is to think you control it. I feel better now, having said this, although only those who have experienced it will understand it. Next time we continue with chapter 2 of John Steinbeck's Travels with Charlie.